Wow. The new year is finally here. And it is a glorious time of anticipation. It's a time where we're waiting for a better time of more freedom, where we can get together, where we can start again a normal life. But I don't want you to start a normal life as before. I want it to be better and greater. Listen to this in Colossians 1, verse 26. The mystery hidden for ages and generations, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Oh, my friend, I want you to have a new life, not just a life that is continuing of what was. I want it to be better. I want it to be grander. In 2022, I want you to be answerable to the Christ within your own being. Now, what does that mean? Several times every day, instead of just uh, something where you have a New Year's resolution where you, you want to have a new life or give up a new habit several times each day, I want you to ask yourself if your thoughts, your feelings, and your actions are an outpouring of your Christ consciousness, of the Christ perfection. Then you ask yourself, is there room for improvement? In every situation, examine your attitude to see whether it is now or not living the loving, caring, and cheerful attitude of the Christ. See, that's the way you bring new life into you, is you actually consciously bring it in you. And through you, you greet each person expecting to find only the Christ. You are centered in Christ, and you project that to everyone. You feel your oneness with Christ in others. Your one responsibility is to live the Christ life in 2022 and to acknowledge to the best of your ability in every moment the Christ presence in every person and in every situation. Yes, we are answerable to the Christ within our own being. And we pray to be Christ-centered in in our being, a loving and a caring and a cheerful person. Oh, I, I pray that this is the way you live, that you are a new person in Christ, that you accept that Christ is in you and through you, and your hope of glory.